Hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into this reading and see what is going on with you guys. Um, we're going to look, start taking a look into April since it's basically right around the corner here. Okay, what messages? All right, you've got the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation coming to you. Uh, solidarity, force, hmm, honor, protection, and power. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some truth and clarity and something being revealed to you from this time you're listening to this video going into April. You also have acts. There's a breakup, a separation. There's also stopping the pattern, possible silent treatment and abandonment. Okay. Uh, let me see here. And you've got boat. So closure moving on. Okay, Virgo. Uh, this message feels like it's going to be a little different than yesterday, but um, somebody maybe gave you the silent treatment and um, or um, there's some kind of breakup and a moving on situation happening here um, or going forward. Um, now, this, you know, Virgo, this could have been you. I feel like there's somebody here who's like getting clarity about why something ended or why you might have put the ax or ended something with them, okay? Um, I feel like there's someone here who keeps replaying events over and over and over trying to gain the clarity and it looks like um, they've received the answer that they need, okay? Um, and perhaps giving themselves the closure issue, or not the issue, the closure that they need um, to finally move on and perhaps not reach out to you anymore or bother you anymore for some of you, um, or try to work on anything with you anymore. And it also could just be that um, there's, cl there's clarity about why you've moved on, okay? Or why something ended and, you know, um, I feel like somebody's been like this cassette card here you know replaying events over and over in their head um or or just maybe some conversations that were had or something that might have happened it definitely looks like there is some kind of separation and uh somebody i, I feel like i feel like there's someone here who's kind of like um okay, this needs to end, <laughs> maybe stopping the pattern of behaviors. Now, remember you guys, as I always say, that the roles can be reversed, okay? So let me just give the, the strongest message, whatever the energies are that are playing out here. I, I do feel like there is someone here who's like gaining clarity for, um, and it could be both, gaining clarity for why something ended, like the, the real truth. Um, and it might not be specifically like blaming another person, more so like um, stopping their own personal patterns of um, the situation, the cycle going around and around and nothing changing. Okay, so there's, there's definitely a revelation, there's definitely clarity about why something ended, like the truth. Um, even if someone was told why another person was ending something with them, um, or didn't either way it's like the truth like the truth it, it sets in somebody is like wow okay i get it now i get it i understand things that i needed to do i didn't do things the other person needed to do they didn't do so that energy definitely playing out okay let me see what the romance angels message is here for you virgo Okay, finances and career affecting the relationship. There's codependency issue and a freeing yourself. Okay, so, um, hmm. All right, so for some of you, there may have been like some kind of issue in a relationship um, where there was codependency or addiction, um, manipulative behaviors, or someone being very dependent. Um, also, there might have been some financial financial things going on or career issues happening in a relationship that may have had a reason why something ended and um, 
Also, somebody needing to get over their codependency and become more secure and independent of themselves, so freeing themselves. So somebody taking back control of their life as well. Is that you, Virgo? Is it the other person? It could be both of you, okay? So I really get a sense here that there's like some kind of revelation wake-up call happening here, some type of clarity coming um, during April, okay? So yeah, coming to the end of the struggle, a burden for sure that is like just too much to bear and need to set oh gosh you have two tens right definitely an ending and a new beginning happening here okay but right now it's like hitting rock bottom okay wow that's crazy two tens in a row so with this both of these energies it feels like someone is physically and mentally exhausted okay um i just can't keep up this cycle any longer um just can't keep up this this repetitiveness of a pattern a cycle um it looks like an axe situation <laughs> cutting something off was needed like that like it feels like that's something that needed to happen okay let me see here what else Oh, wow, a two of cups. Virgo, I just heard, like, if you cut somebody off, they're really grateful for to you for doing that because um, they may not have liked it at first, but I, I don't know, I'm just getting a sense of, like, thank you for doing that. Thank you for being truthful or for um, putting a stop to this because I was not able to put a stop to this anymore, right? Um, and it could be vice versa. Somebody might have done this to you, cut you off or ended something or, you know, separated. And and in hindsight, some of you might be like, wow, I am so glad that this person did this because this actually freed me up. Um, and some of you might not have been able to do this or you had a struggle like there's a silver lining here for someone as far as some type of ending that happened and for some of you it's kind of like you know not all of you there's a percentage of you that i feel like going into april um you know it's kind of like well you know what maybe we're just better as friends and nothing more and we'll just maintain a civil kind of relationship and for others this actually brings clarity and truth and a new um a new way for two people to get on the same page um because i don't know, i just feel like they're needed to I, i'd be surprised if the tower card shows up because i do feel like all this energy is tower energy for sure like if like if i had to show you the tower card all these cards would be behind it you know i feel like there's like a real tower moment where there's like gratitude for the truth gratitude for um as painful as some truth was somebody you or another person or both of you just unable to keep the cycle going and something needed to end and for some like i said that may bring you both back to um the starting board do you know what I mean? Like for some, not all of you, but it gives you guys an opportunity to come back and to come into alignment where you might not have been in alignment. Um, and whether that's to resume the relationship as friends or try to have a brand new start, because you know what? Love tried and it something was a failure to launch or didn't get off the ground, okay? So there's a healing for sure. Okay, let me see. What else is going on here? Oh, wow. You got the death card. You're kidding. Okay, first major arcana, Scorpio energy here. So, oh, the death card, the ten of wands, the ten of swords, all represents to me transformation. Um, everything's ending. Um, The only two things that are not that have not ended is the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, which is security and everlasting joy and happiness and contentment and love. So that is still there. It's this the mental stress and the physical stress really took a toll on the relationship. 
or took a toll on one or two people. And that has come to an end. So with the death card here, it feels like there's a passing of suffering. The suffering is over. It's complete. The cycle is finished. Okay, there's no more stagnation. Um, there's no more a feeling of being stuck in something like with this cassette playing the tape over and over. <clears throat> excuse me, over and over and over again. Death card represents big changes, you know, and moving on, rebirth and transformation. So uh, I don't know what's going on here, Virgo. I mean, with you personally, but I do see something needed to happen. The cord needed to be cut or it needs to be cut in April in order to induce massive change, either for the better or moving forward. Okay, now we have Virgo here. Okay, two major arcana. There could be a Scorpio Virgo connection here as well. So self reflection, a lot of looking inward, not going down the rabbit hole, but um, going in for clarity and personal truth. Okay, so I definitely feel um, some of you could be thinking about an Aquarius at this time as well. Uh, I definitely feel like there's big change and wow putting value on something here, either self-worth or valuing each other. There's definitely change happening here. And there's communication as well. Um, um, for some, there is communication. Um, either you're going to tell somebody or they're going to tell you about a new job that they have or that they have lined up and that they're improving their life um maybe they were just like a couch surfer all the time and just weren't working or they were retired and they just weren't doing anything <clears throat> somebody's got plans okay they're putting plans and ideas into place for employment um to raise money um as well so like we said there was a financial career situation happening here so you know there's definitely some spark of new ideas, projects, creative ideas, or things, not necessarily creative, but ways to make money. Okay. Um, now, I always have to say, um, so if you are, if you have a connection with someone or were connected with someone who's very muscular, you know, they get the big guns, and I'm also feeling like maybe tattoos on the forearms, that person definitely reaching out to you to tell you about what's going on with them in their life. Okay, but they don't have to have, um, <laughs> they don't have to have tattoos. They could, they could, or they may tell you that they got some new tattoos. I'm just hearing that. Okay, um, something that they really wanted to do. And then, uh, yeah, th there's, okay, listen, Virgo, um, there's romance. Um, somebody reaching out to you definitely to talk about some very mundane little things, but this is their indirect or direct approach. They're finding a reason to talk to you, um, and it may not make any sense to you, um, especially if there's a separation. So you might question yourself, um, and you could be doing this to them, but somebody's questioning what this is what you're coming towards me with. Uh, stuff about your tattoos or your business ideas or um, you know maybe you're working out or, or whatever you did you do this you're talking about all this stuff but not the emotions and not the relationship well this is their way of um, trying to approach to see if you will respond to them um, it's it's an indirect or direct. I don't feel like somebody's going to reach out to you and just tell you that they miss you or that they love you. I know I don't pick that up because for some, you might have axed this relationship and they don't want to be rejected again. So they come in with some safe words, right? Um, just seeing how you are. Yeah, I just want to tell you um, I, I have that money for you or, you know, um, I have something for your cat or your dog or do you still have my bracelet? Um, you know, or do you, they're, they're finding excuses really to get into communication with you and there's nothing wrong with that at all. I just feel like something has ended and there is this kind of like, wow moment and i feel like somebody here is recognizing or realizing uh getting clarity about why you ended something or why some or why you were forced to end something or why 
uh, for others, if they if somebody broke up with you or ended it with you, um, there's like oh a little bit of um, oh uh, truth about well I that person misses you or they're thinking about you and um, they want to try to make something work again. There's clarity. That's all. It's it's just that there's clarity coming. Okay, let me get a couple more cards here. So, all right, first court card. So now we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I feel like Virgo, this person, wants to marry you. Okay, they want to make that love offer and that proposal. They're not going to do it right away. They can keep it really simple. This Page of Pentacles is kind of a simpleton. <laughs> you know it's like a it's like a, a a teenager or some sort like it's um somebody who it, it, it's just there's there how can i say this they're all about work they're all about money um they're all about being good in school and that kind of thing you know what i mean they're very patient and very slow but apart from that this king of cups is here so like i said this person could be a water sign it could be coming in with water energy and they could be any sign um this person in the upright, it's very good because they show up as very being very supportive and tolerant and a ton, a ton of empathy, very understanding, not abusive, not an emotional manipulator, not someone who's smothering or insecure. They overcome, they've overcome any kind of addiction, um, and just someone who's very nurturing and, and you know wants a healing kind of thing and very romantic coming in very romantic their intention is to offer their cup of love to you virgo and um ask you maybe if you want to go have a drink right uh, very simple very uh, but it's a very indirect direct approach from this person okay so all it feels like from what i'm seeing in the cards because of this ax situation giving clarity and um receiving the some answers about a cycle that just kept repeating over and over that, that there's change that's coming from um some clarity here that somebody is having now again it could be you you could be showing up in the king of cups and reaching out to someone um for some of you you might just want to have these closure issue uh resolved you may not have an intention to go the distance with someone but you may reach out and ask somebody how things are going or how they're doing um not again not you could have an intention to try to restart something with them because you love them um but you could also just be making a very kind offer and gesture um just out of love okay with no intention of anything else okay um so it can go both ways let me see what the messages of love here are okay unavailable this person is unavailable to give all you deserve okay so i feel like for some of you that has a lot to do with why something ended Either you felt that way about them, or they felt that way about you, or both of you came to realize not the right time. Just I'm unable to give you what you want or what you need at this time. Okay, you might have said that to them for various other reasons. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, but your true love is already a part of your life. They are here now. Okay, um, so you guys already know who this person is. You might not you might not even be realizing as well or you might doubt protected you are safe and divinely guided throughout this whole scenario this whole situation here um let me see when someone's going to possibly be coming in here for you i just i'm curious when will there be because i know yesterday something amazing on april 8th was going to come up when is this person going to be reaching out to virgo oh there's a ten of pentacles so virgo um your birthday for sure okay in your birthday month for sure okay um i know your birthday is a ways away um but you know if it's real love um no problem waiting if that's going to be the opportunity for two people to move forward happily ever after that's worth waiting for right so for some not all of you but for some your birthday is going to be significant um okay let's see what the hidden truth oracle is what this person would tell you if or like what's going on with them in their heart not necessarily what they would tell you but 
what's going on in their heart. Oh, beautiful. I love you. And I feel you, even though we are apart right now. Yes. And this person couldn't let you get close to me. Um, or maybe because um, they weren't able to give you what you needed. Didn't want to disappoint you. I look for you everywhere. Okay, Virgo. I feel like you got that the other day, too. Like, this person does... They're still looking for you. They're still searching for you, Virgo. Um, just to see... I don't know, catch a glimpse of you, what you're doing in your life, what's going on since things have changed. Okay, yeah, you might have ghosted or blocked somebody. So that would explain why they're looking for you or still looking for you everywhere to see if you're in a committed relationship already. They're trying to get some information if you're with someone else because uh, you do want to approach, but I feel like they don't want to be disrespectful either but they are curious to see if you've there may be someone here who's curious if you ended a relationship with them because there was somebody else you may be looking to see if they ended it with you because there was someone else i don't see that there was somebody else i don't see that there's somebody else for either one it doesn't mean it's not true but um i'm not picking that up okay right now Okay, struggle, challenge, competition. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely someone here to s trying to see what their comp if they have any competition. My goodness, I mean, according to yesterday's reading, this person was really had it bad for you. So I feel like this is still kind of playing out. Um, I feel like they're gonna find out that you are, if you are single, they 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 somehow. Uh, either intuitively or they will find out in some way that you're basically not married again I feel like I have to say that if you were married before or that you just don't have a significant other at this time and um, that brings them a little bit of relief because it's not that they don't want to be in a competition with others or have a challenge but um, they don't want to be rejected again by you um, because they feel like you could easily do that and vice versa um so yeah that whatever somebody is sweating over um the, a relationship may have ended and another person finds out that the other person is no longer with someone and they want to try again to try to get back in and work things out because there's clarity now okay okay and for some of you this is a loving older female okay um if you like females uh this would be a queen of cups again very similar so you know what there's a male there's masculine feminine energy coming in in the water signs for sure and uh they don't have to be a, that sign but the energy is coming from the heart coming from the heart which is how the water signs are everything is feelings and emotions and intimacy and um you know they they're they're just everything they do is like heartfelt they're they're generally people oriented they they it's just all about love and and good things you know and and that's the energy of what this person is displaying it could also be you virgo you could be getting yourself into this very positive loving warm energy yourself just doing that on your own okay let's see what your chinese signs are here okay so year of the pig like i said this could be you or the other person or none of you could be both of you let's see so year of the pig year of the ox Oh, Year of the Dragon. Wow, I love these, the blues. Okay. Okay, Year of the Tiger. That was last year. Boy, last year was a tiger year for sure. Okay, let's see. Year of the Rabbit, and that's this year. We went from a tiger to a rabbit. goodness all right year of the rat okay 
Okay, who else? Okay, Year of the Tiger again. Year of the Monkey, and one more. <laughs> and Year of the Snake, okay. So again, that's either you or your person or both of you or none of you, which is fine either way. Let it fit the way it's meant to fit. All right, let's see if we can get into some names and random messages. Okay. Okay, somebody is a Leo dragon. They just told me that. Someone is the sign Leo dragon. Okay, let's see. Or maybe there's a Leo Virgo cusp dragon here. Okay. Huh. Oh, I'm definitely picking up a Q uh, queen energy here. Uh, somebody calls someone a queen or says someone's a queen uh, or says it to themselves. All right. Let's see. All right, they just told me this name straight clear as a bell, Gina DeMarco. I don't know who that is. Gina DeMarco, they just said. Somebody who's born in 1993, I'm also getting. And um, I also am seeing someone chewing bubble gum or popping bubble gum or popping gum or chewing some kind of gum right now. Um, or, you know, you could be doing that now or tomorrow or you just threw your gum out, spit it out. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Okay. Mm, also, someone is of African American descent or African descent. Not African American descent, African descent. Okay, let's see. All right. I just heard the name Doug, Douglas. Somebody went to um, college very early, uh, very young, went to school very young. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. And somebody likes to jog or jogs. I don't know if they like to, but they, they do it. And they enjoy it, maybe runs marathons. Okay, let me see. Um, I just heard the name Katie. Katie. Okay. Okay. A uh, zebra, I just, they just gave me a vision of a zebra. Somebody's mixed race as well. Maybe that's what that, yeah, okay, that's where that's coming from. All right, um, and then I'm seeing a male to male relationship um, or a same sex relationship, I should say, pardon me, same sex relationship. Mm. Okay, and I'm also seeing somebody is pruning their flower garden, okay, and somebody, all right, this is weird, it's a car, this is an old car, I don't know if this is a car, they're giving me the strange looking old car, 2Z, I don't know what that means, is that a car, 2Z, number two and the letter Z, I don't know anything about cars. All the only cars I know about are Audis. They're my favorite. <laughs> Two Z. Okay, one more. One more for Virgo. Show Virgo what. 
Oh, look at that sitting right there. Okay, we've got the initial P. We have a G. We have a C. We have M. <clears throat> and I also just heard, uh, I don't know if it's Thomas or the letter T or Tommy or Tony. Um, and hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, Brianna or Brittany or Brian? They're giving me a B. Now they're giving me all these letters. Hold on. If I call your name out, holla. <laughs> it's for you. Um, Daniel. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody lives in Irv Irvine, Irvin, Irvine, California. I just heard and okay um, now I'm, I'm hearing the phrase nope nope you know somebody says nope or you just said nope or someone said nope to you instead of no nope <laughs> nope um, let's see okay and all right, so now they're giving me, all right, no. Is it Rhonda? Okay, last one here. All right, oh, okay, okay, that was easy. They just said, um, somebody watches The Mandalorian. <laughs> the Mandalorian, isn't that like a show? I don't watch it, but I just heard Mandalorian. So somebody watches that. Oh, that's a Netflix thing or whatever it might be. Okay, let's try your dice and then we're going to do your charms and then we'll be done. And don't forget, you guys, join me on Sunday. If you become a member of my channel or you pay $99, $9.99 a month, you can pop in the chat on Sunday and ask your questions, get a mini reading with me. Okay, so you have Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, and Aries. Okay. Now let's get your numbers. Okay. Four, four, three, eight. And twenty twenty one. And five one one or one one five. Okay. Let's see. Let's see September birthdays. August and September. All right. All right, September 3rd, 4th, 8th, 10th, 11th. Do you have the 1111 here? Somebody's 40 or going to be 40. Um, also, uh, September 18th, August 24th and 23rd. And someone's going to be 41 or is 41. I'm also picking up 54. And I'm getting 35. I'm also getting age 38 and 78. And also, okay, either that's a year or an age. We also have 67. So that's either a year or an age. All right, let's check a couple of more. Zodiac signs here. All right, Scorpio twice, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. So, Virgo, let's get into your charms. See what other message there is here for you. <clears throat> Please don't forget to put a like and subscribe on the video. We just passed the 35,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you so much for that. Let's keep it going. Get to 100. Oh, here's that feather again. All right. Definitely the feather is showing up again here. It was here yesterday as well. So there was something significant yesterday about finding a feather, especially a gold one or some, or maybe it's brown or copper, but finding a feather or seeing a feather, very significant. If you see it, that's a message that um, there's someone watching over you and they're trying to let you know, especially if you see it in an odd place, like on your bathroom floor 
or in the middle of the supermarket, <laughs> you know, or uh, sitting on the seat on the bus. Yeah, something unique about that situation. I'm not talking about if you're in a chicken pen and there's feathers, they're not trying to get a hold of you. Um, if you're out in the woods walking around and there's feathers, no, that's common something seeing a feather in a very odd place that is a surprise or that just is like huh that's a message that someone is thinking of you they're watching over you they love you okay so keep that in mind all right so you also have and this is straight up one straight message a mickey mouse key okay a mickey mouse key so i don't know there's some kind of connection to mickey mouse for somebody here this is um significant for someone it does represent something um special to somebody here some connection to mickey mouse or disney or um you know maybe the key to unlock um, a hotel room at Disney or someone's taking a trip or there's the key, you know, um, it's very significant for someone. So keep that in mind as well. And last but not least, you have musical note. Well, no, what is that called? I always forget the name of that. Um, I don't know, post it in the chat there if you know what it, it's not a clef, it's, I forget. Um, I'm old and I can't remember things anymore. <laughs> so something here to do with music. Very significant. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hold on, you guys. Oh, lately, you know, the allergies, but very significant. Um, somebody plays music or, and what's interesting, I just noticed this, you guys, wait a minute. This key, I mean, this um, musical note has a diamond in it. Hmm. A diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, there's something to do with that song. That's what the message is. That song is very significant to someone. Shine bright like a diamond. Maybe that's your favorite song, or you were listening to that recently. Um or someone thinks about you and they they those lyrics is how they feel about you I, I don't know the lyrics i don't know the song i just know that phrase that one choro chorus so yeah virgo that's your reading look at this mess it's fantastic isn't it so i'm going to leave that there for you again you can join me on sunday for the live stream q a become a member of the channel 9.99 a month and that is divided by 30 days like very inexpensive you do the math what is it ten dollars divided by 30 days it's like 30 cents a day something like that pretty cheap to get your questions answered for that cheap right to do a mini reading oh god i hope that I'm, my math is right <laughs> i'm really great at english and writing and history and all that but my math is like don't come to me i'm no i'm no accountant and as a virgo you would think that I, like, I'm really great at, I don't know why I'm telling you this, I'm really great at like um, formulae, formula type math. Like um, if I have to do calculus and, and algebra and all that stuff, I'm a freaking genius with that. But simple math, <laughs> I don't know what it is. My brain does not compute. I don't know. But I'll write, I'll write and write and write stories and fiction and novels like till death do part my life and i love that stuff so anyway that's a little tidbit about me hope you enjoy that so all right you guys so yes i'll leave this here i hope you guys have a great night and a wonderful day tomorrow and i will be back here on thursday for your weekend reading and see what your predictions are for the weekend and again don't forget i am not doing any more personal readings if you are a former client if you've booked with me before you can keep booking with me to get readings um but yeah that's what's going on love you all very much thanks everybody for your help in the chat and a shout out to my moderators you guys are the best and i will see you guys all back here tomorrow take care mm -hmm.